you how to mine crypto coins uh, using Azure Cloud Services. Um, this we would be using Minergate to mine Monero today, and there are a whole bunch of other coins that you can mine, uh, like Bitcoin Gold, Zcash, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, Monero, Bitcoin, Digital Note, and a few other. I will cover them in the tutorial today. So go and type Azure Portal in Google, and you will be logged in. Um, I'm assuming at this point you already have an Azure account um, and once you log in you will see an interface like this and what you can do is just create a new virtual machine so select new get started Ubuntu server and it will create a new virtual machine for you and then we will install the minor gate packages on that virtual machine and start mining so let's give it a name let's say coin miner and SSD is fine and give it a username I'll create a password for this you will need that to log into your virtual machine once it's all set up and you can create a new resource group or use an existing one I already created a, a resource group from before in East US so I'll just use that you can just create a new one if you want to just make a difference um, if you're doing mining I would recommend to you to use at least four cores to get any decent hash rate um, so let's look at all the packages that they have for SSD hmm nothing is available if something like this happens, you can always go back and change the location to West US 2. Now let's see if there's something available over here. There we go. Perfect. So, okay, for four cores, we can need to like this one. And the prices may vary based on the region that you select. So try out with a different whole bunch of different regions. But 161 CAD uh, for four uh, CPUs and eight gigabytes of memory. This all looks good. Select OK and agree to the Microsoft Terms and Condition. It will it will cost 21 cents um, per hour. And there you go. Now it's deploying your virtual machine. In the meanwhile, I'll come over here and create a new account on Minergate. Let me log out. There we go. Sign up. And and go to password. Let's give it a strong password then. There we go. And now if you can go if you go to your dashboard, you can see all the coins that are available that you can mine. Um, so we have Zcash, Bitcoin Gold, Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, Bitcoin Litecoin, Bitcoin, Monero, Digital Note. Aeon coin, Phantom coin, and a few other. Today we will be mining Monero. So once the virtual machine is set up, we are going to access it. So let's just give it a few more minutes. So whenever you want to mine a coin, you would need uh, the symbol for it. So you can symbol for that coin. So Monero is XMR. There we go. And I already have a miner running from before, so let me just show you how it looks like while we get the other one set up. So this one has been running for a while. As you can see, uh, CPU has been clocking at around 95%. Um, and you can see that, um, you can you know, see all the analytics over here. So going back to my dashboard. Let's see how long it's going to take.
I will fast forward this video. Oh, no, not necessary. Just deployed the virtual machine. Just perfect. And over here, you can see the virtual machine is set up, but there's nothing running on it. So for the CPU graphs, you'll see a 0% usage. And you can connect to it using the SSH command. So if you're on Mac, you can use the terminal. If you're on Windows, you can use PuTTY. So over here, I'll just use the terminal. And yes, it will ask for a password. And I will type the password that I had put in while I was setting up the virtual machine. Try again. There we go. And now I'm in. So as you can see over here, now I'm accessing um, the Ubuntu server that's running on this virtual machine. The next step for you is to download the packages for Minergate. I will um, paste the source code over here in uh, the description below. All you have to do is go and run this and it will start downloading all of the packages for the virtual machine. So we'll just give it a minute or two for this and it should be all set up. And once this is set up, all you have to do is run this command and select the coin that you want to mine and the number of cores you want to dedicate. Um, so in this case, we have selected a four uh, core machine and we would be mining a Monero. And when you put in your email over here, um, you will see that um, that coin, which is right now uh, offline, will come online and the mining would begin. So let me just copy and paste. There we go. And now let's come back over here, 50%. We'll wait, let me refresh the screen. Okay, just waiting for the, there we go. So right now you can see CPU is not being used. There's nothing connected with the virtual machine. So network in and outs. Uh, calls are now. So I am almost ready. There we go. All set. And now let me mine Monero. So Monero was XMR. And I'll put in the email address that I use to create the minor gate account, which is store at gmail.com. And there we go, mining begins. And over here you can see um, the hash rate that I'm getting. So I'm getting around 153 hash per second. And if I come back to my portal, one error comes online, and I already have one active worker mining it. And it has already begun. I've already mined 0 0.00005129 one error. So now you can just keep it running, and it will keep on mining the coin behind the scenes. If you want, you can select a more uh, powerful machine, and that will give you a better hash rate. But for the um, Free two hundred dollars that Azure provides for the first month. Um, it's not bad. You can you can get a few dollars, um, um, or you can uh, get a bunch of coins. Um, and uh, if they appreciate over time, then you can make a profit on that. So right now the challenge is that if I close this terminal, the process is going to stop. So in order to avoid that, I'm going to do one thing to run this exact same command but with uh, no hub and this will allow the process to keep on running uh, even if the terminal 
are the party closes and I'll need to type dev no and what there you go. so now you won't see anything on the screen but it's still running mining is going on behind the scenes and I can terminate this process um, and soon you will see that the CPU percentage is going to spike up and right now we are still online and you will see the new hash rate show up just give it a minute and but that's about it that's how easy it is to mine um, cryptocurrencies using Azure um, soon I will release a video on how you can mine it using uh, Amazon Web Services as well but if you have an Azure account and you have unused credits or if you are getting the first month for free make sure you make um, the most out of it and get some crypto coins all coins that you are really interested in